Yeah, so I think the Embrave 150 study is actually a very exciting study. Not only does it have, did it meet its primary endpoints of both overall survival and progression-free survival with clinically meaningful benefit, but at this ASCO meeting, they actually showed the quality of life data and demonstrated that there was a clinically meaningful difference in quality of life between the serafinib arm and the atezolizumab, bevacizumab arm. And in fact, the time to deterioration of, to deterioration in quality of life was also significantly prolonged with the atezolizumab and bevacizumab. Considering the side effect profile associated with serafinib that includes diarrhea, dyskusia, hand foot syndrome, um, versus the side effect profile associated with atezolizumab and bevacizumab, the side effect profile really does favor the combination of these infusion drugs as opposed to the oral serafinib therapy. And I think between both the side effect profile of the drugs and the fact that atezolizumab bevacizumab has a slower decline in quality of life over time or preserves quality of life longer, I think that sort of uh, cements to me that this is a new standard of care and potentially the preferred standard of care for most patients with HCC who are who meet the criteria for the study, child's PUA, liver function, you know, good performance status, but who are coming now with a newly diagnosed advanced HCC that requires systemic therapy.